Let me show you what this bad boy can do. So welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And uh, today's video is gonna be on the run stop switch. Um, I had a lot of uh, subscribers asking questions about um, a crank no start issue. And um, a lot of times I respond, I'll say it's the CDI, uh, could be something electrical. In this case, I'm gonna show you the importance of checking the wires going to your run stop light switch because you know, you got the kill switch in here. This is on your handlebars and your wire is going to the handlebars plug into it. Well, a lot of times they get corroded. So the wire is going up to the run stop, kill switch, light switch, whatever you want to call this thing. The wires get green and then the, uh, the kill switch doesn't work. Or it won't allow you to start it. You won't get a spark. Basically it's acting like the kill switch is on. This came off the six by six that uh, I showed you I was working on. And I don't know what this guy did. He, he must have had the same issue with the, this. This is supposed to be one solid piece and it plugs into here. What he did was he uh, stripped the terminals off and he just plugged the wires in the clip and they were just touching the metal brackets. Well, that didn't work. And when I pulled this out, this was completely green, acting, uh, there was no power going up to it, and it was corroded so far beyond me being able to pull the terminals out of the plug that I had to cut the wires. So I ended up cutting the wires, uh, happened to get the uh, uh, extra set of wires off another wheeler that's uh, got a good end on it. I spliced them all in. Uh, if you do this, make sure you use like a heat shrink or um, a connection or solder. Um, so I have both ends good to go. Going up to the run kill switch. Now this one, it would start, it would run, but uh, as I was giving it gas, it would act all doggy like uh, the reverse override button wasn't working. So that's why I came up with the idea that uh, it might be the wires going up to the run kill switch. So the plan is now that I've got my wiring harness replaced up in front here and I got everything, I'm going to replace the uh, run stop switch uh, just to be on the safe side because the one on the 6x6 six six, that's uh, all green in here too, it's all corroded. Um, I've actually pulled one of these apart and uh, it's kind of interesting the way it goes. And But yeah, if this is all green in here it goes into like a board and everything else is green. Sometimes uh, this switch, behind this switch there's a copper plate. Uh, sometimes that gets all green and that doesn't work. Um, you gotta replace it, it won't, it won't want to start, it won't want to shut off. Uh, it does multiple things. Um, so it's always hard to diagnose somebody's problem when they ask me a question because you know these machines are so old that you know, it could be come down to a wiring issue. So the first thing I look at when I got a crank no start issue is uh, first thing I look at is the CDI. The next thing I do is I pull these plugs. And as you can see, that is the problem because it's green. And then uh, next thing I do is, uh, you know, if the switch looks good, I'll just click this back and forth, try to get any corrosion off of there. Do the same thing with this. Um, kind of clean everything up. If these uh, need to be replaced, I replace them. And uh, I usually start there and then I work my way through the machine. And uh, I tell you, a lot of the times, this is the problem right here. So I hope you liked this little video, my little quick tip of the day. And subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And like always, till next time.